Now to the fight on Capitol Hill over the January 6th insurrection. And tonight, the president weighed in on how it should be investigated. CBS 2's Dick Brennan has a story. I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnated. <laughs> the fact is, you can't look at that television and say nothing happened on the 6th. You can't listen to people who say this was a peaceful march. At a town hall meeting, President Biden used a question about the January 6th riot investigation to make a general appeal for bipartisanship. Do you ever remember a time like this before in the entire history? Whether you're a Democrat or Republican, this is not who we are. The remarks come on a day that the battle over the probe into the insurrection threatened to scuttle it completely. Read my statement. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi rejected two of the five Republicans on the panel, Ohio's Jim Jordan and Indiana's Jim Banks. The Speaker suggested the two staunch allies of the former president who voted against certifying the election would jeopardize the integrity of the investigation. Pelosi has broken this institution. Minority leader Kevin McCarthy says the GOP would start their own investigation. Jordan and Banks had both just criticized the panel picked by Pelosi yesterday. This is impeachment round three for the Democrats. But Democrats say Jordan would sabotage the committee. McCarthy's decision to seat Jim Jordan was intentional, and he's trying to make a mockery, like most of his other work, make a mockery of pretty much everything he touches. The motion is not agreed to. On another front, Senate Republicans voted down a motion to begin debate on a bipartisan infrastructure plan, saying they needed more time to negotiate a deal and that they're getting close. We are making tremendous progress. Now, that $1 trillion package would fund roads and bridges and other projects. A small bipartisan group of lawmakers say they could have an agreement in, in the coming days. As for the January 6th committee investigation, Democrats say they will go ahead with a hearing and witnesses beginning next week. Christina Maurice. Dick, thank you.